My name is Simon Bersenio. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer for John Air Mobility. Uh, John Air Mobility is a transformative aerospace company. Uh, we are building the very best in the next generation of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Our patented technology is the slowed rotor compound uh, that is on our eVTOL aircraft. And we are targeting the air taxi, the urban air mobility market, as well as the cargo market. Uh, John Air Mobility is formed about three years ago. Uh, we are headquartered in Dallas, Texas, uh, and we acquired all of the slowed rotor compound technology from a previous company called Carter Aviation that, has, that was maturing that technology over the last uh, two decades. Uh, that technology has flown on a technology demonstrator, or what we call the Jaunt Technology Demonstrator. It has over 300 flight hours. Uh, piloted flight hours, uh, and that same technology, this, the main rotor technology, is what we are going to be using on our all-electric jaunt journey. This aircraft configuration is what you call the compound configuration, and that is a, a combination of a single main rotor as well as a fixed wing like a conventional airplane. And the aircraft takes off and lands like a conventional helicopter uh, using our single main rotor, uh, the anti-torque uh, for that main rotor is provided by the uh, four propellers, two on each wing. Uh, as you can observe, we don't have a tail rotor like a conventional helicopter. Uh, we also use uh, those uh, propellers on the fixed wing to fly horizontally in cruise. That provides our, our main thrust. When we're uh, transitioning from uh, vertical flight through cruise flight, we begin to slow down our main rotor, and that's one of the patented technologies that we have. We have the ability to slow down dramatically the RPM of our main rotor uh, to provide the efficiency uh, that you see with conventional fixed-wing airplanes. By slowing down the main rotor, we're able uh, to drastically reduce the drag associated with, uh, with having a, a flying uh, rotor like a, like a conventional helicopter. In addition, you're able to uh, reduce and minimize the vibrations associated with, with having that rotor. This aircraft uh, is going to target the air taxi market uh, and it's transporting people in and around large urban cities. We have uh, uh, a capacity in our payload for four passengers. We have a single pilot uh, certified for IFR flight. And we are also uh, designing the aircraft. We have designed the aircraft uh, to accommodate a palletized load, cargo. Uh, loads uh, to, to provide uh, you know, an option for those markets as well. The primary uh, work that has been accomplished over the last three years is to uh, work with our Tier 1 and Tier 2 aerospace suppliers, uh, form the, the right agreements to have uh, suppliers on board. We have BAE Systems, we have CAE, and many more uh, that have agreed to provide some of the critical systems for our aircraft. Uh, we are all going to be working together uh, in, in over the next uh, four to five years as we continue to wrap up our design phase as well as begin the certification campaign uh, that will then uh, culminate in type certification and entry into service by the end of 2026. John Air Mobility is taking a, a, a different approach than uh, some of the other um, uh, players in this market from an aircraft certification standpoint. Uh, we, our configuration is a, uh, considered a rotorcraft, uh, part of the rotorcraft uh, category of aircraft, and as a result, we intend to certify as a certification basis uh, the, using Part 29, uh, rotorcraft transport category uh, rules and standards. The benefits of certifying under uh, Part 29 transport category uh, rotorcraft rules is uh, these rules exist today. This is how uh, transport category rotorcraft helicopters are certified. Uh, they ac account for some critical areas uh, like bird stri strike, damage tolerance that you won't find in other uh, parts. Uh, and this is important for, for the EV eVTOL community to ensure that we're uh, achieving the level of safety equivalent to transport category aircraft that we see today. Our primary uh, aircraft program is the all-electric jaunt journey. Uh, we have, we are working very closely with BA Systems in uh, the development, the design and development of our battery system and our energy management, in addition to the work they're doing on our flight control computers and fly-by-wire system. 
Uh, we intend to, uh, we are in addition to that exploring uh, additional uh, concepts. Uh, one in particular is a hybrid configuration. Uh, we're working closely with Vertigo Aero uh, to uh, evaluate the benefits of introducing a hybrid genset into a similar configuration using the same patented main rotor technology that we have on our jaunt journey. There is already a, a need for uh, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft uh, to be able to satisfy many of the cargo missions that we see in and around cities. So with a hybrid aircraft, we're able to uh, not just increase our payload and range uh, capabilities with the partnership that we have with Vertigo. This allows us to target specifically the cargo market uh, by also changing the fuselage configuration slightly and increasing the volume. And then in addition to that, we are uh, working on a contract with the Air Force on a military program uh, that's called the High-Speed high VTOL. Uh, and we, have a, we are collaborating with uh, partners there as well uh, to provide the Air Force and their mission requirements with a vehicle that will satisfy their speed, range, as well as the downwash requirements that are uh, critical for military rotorcraft operations. The Air Force mission requirements uh, are such that we have to include at this stage the, uh, a propulsion system uh, that is not an all that doesn't rely on just battery um, electric power. All these aircraft configurations are enabled uh, by the slowed rotor com compound technology that has been developed over the last few years. When we enter service in 2026 on day one, we expect to use the aviation infrastructure that we see today. This includes existing helipads, existing runways and airports, regional airports, large airports. There are thousands of underutilized airports around the US. Uh, we believe that existing air infrastructure is adequate today in order to provide initial operations for urban air mobility. As we ramp up and scale operations, we certainly will see a need to add additional infrastructure uh, to provide options to, to these new routes uh, for, for customers. Uh, we have been working and partnering uh, very closely with uh, some additional companies that have uh, decades of experience in aviation infrastructure uh, to ensure that we're providing our customers and operators the adequate uh, uh, understanding and knowledge and the preparation that they will need in order to uh, fly our aircraft over the next two decades. And we've uh, formed an alliance, uh, it's called Axis Skyways. Uh, this uh, currently, uh, this alliance includes uh, John Air Mobility, BAE Systems, uh, PSNS, and our recent announcement to this alliance is Avports. Avports uh, manages over uh, a dozen airports here in the US, uh, small regional airports, uh, that are gonna be absolutely critical to launch uh, this urban air mobility market. Some of the critical aspects of the infrastructure that will be required for many of these aircraft is certainly the electric, the charging infrastructure, the interfacing uh, with the energy uh, grid uh, in the surrounding areas, uh, and then all the way up to the interfacing with, with the aircraft itself, the charger. Uh, and there's a lot of work to be done on that aspect. In addition to that, uh, the ground infrastructure uh, from a standpoint of accommodating uh, passengers in and out of terminals uh, as we scale and grow the capacities, uh, the design of those facilities and those terminal facilities will have to be accounted for. And of course, uh, when you now think about the, the flight characteristics or the flight operations uh, of these aircraft in and out of uh, these uh, landing zones, we call them vertiports or helipads or existing infrastructure. Uh, uh, there's gonna be work that needs to be uh, looked into or completed related to the airspace, approach procedures, uh, things of that nature. And certainly once you're on the ground, uh, taxiing and all those other at flight activities and operations uh, have to be addressed, uh, certainly as we scale operations. and so. These companies have expertise uh, in, in those areas, and we are looking forward to, and the, the reason we formed this alliance is to work collaboratively in order to ensure that by the time we enter service that we have the right infrastructure available. At John Air Mobility, uh, one of our uh, big strategies going forward is uh, the activities in Canada, and in particular in Montreal and Quebec. 
Uh, we have announced that we will be certifying uh, under part uh, CA, CAR uh, 29 with uh, Transport uh, Canada. And for that reason and many others, uh, we are uh, having our manufacturing and design centers uh, uh, located just outside of Montreal. Uh, we are going to work very closely uh, with the Canadian uh, aerospace suppliers. Uh, Quebec and the Canadian government uh, are extremely supportive of, a, of the aerospace industry there and uh, the green aviation and new technology industry. And it's, it's a perfect and prime location for Jaunt to have its final assembly and design centers and engineering work uh, that will primarily take place in, in Montreal going forward. Jaunt Air Mobility announced uh, last year in October a merger with the Aero Group, a combination of other aerospace and defense companies. We are currently going uh, through that business combination. We are excited uh, to announce this year uh, the result of that combination and our next steps. Uh, this opportunity will provide Jaunt with the necessary capital uh, to uh, accelerate and ramp up our, our program. We to date, our suppliers have been working on some of the critical technologies, including uh, one of the most uh, high-risk areas, BAE Systems has been working on the battery system, conducting uh, cell testing, uh, propagation uh, testing, and have been uh, very successful in demonstrating the cycle life of these batteries. Going forward, we're going to continue those uh, system level tests, and over the next two years, John Air Mobility uh, will be building a full-scale prototype demonstrator uh, that will also be used uh, for flight te testing and data gathering. Uh, beyond that, we will be entering our certification campaign uh, where we will have additional testing with additional vehicles and then we will, that will culminate in type certification by 2026 when we uh, intend to enter service.